Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial with me, Louise Egan from winitwordpress.com. Today I'm just going to go through a couple of the customizations that you can do to your MailChimp form within the MailChimp framework itself. So basically on the MailChimp website. Um, and there's quite a bit you can do. And there's you can add in fields and you can take them out and everything. But I'll just go through it all in the, in the rest of the video. So let's get started. Okay, so as I said... Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to customise your form within the MailChimp interface. So the first thing you want to do is just go to your list and you want to go to um, the list that you've made and you want to just click on this little pop down button and you want to go to sign up forms. So today we're going to be, um, we're going to be editing this embedded form. So we're going to just click on select. And this is what you'll see when it first comes up. It'll be very, very basic um, and you have your title, you have your fields in and basically what you can um, you can edit quite a lot of things within this interface and you can do more to your code and I'll show you that in the next video But for now, we're just going to be uh, editing in here So you can include or disinclude your form title if you'd like so you can see that title up here has disappeared And um, if you want you can change what it says So if you wanted to say newsletter instead of mailing list you could easily um, You can just change that right here So you can change what fields you want to show so if you only want to show the required fields you can click on this and it'll only show fields that people absolutely have to uh, fill in if you didn't want to do that if you wanted to show all fields you can um, you can also go into the form builder and you can change um, what exactly what fields are actually on your form so let's just go to the form builder for a second and see so here we have our form now. It looks very different in the form builder, and that's why um I'm, it kind of annoys me about uh, Mailchimp to be honest that it looks so different in the form builder. But if you want to add a field or delete a field, this is where you have to do it. So if you wanted to add in somebody's number or if you wanted the, their birthday or their address, depending on what your website is doing, you might need more information about them. But for me, I just need first name and an email address. Um, you can change. So if I want to change this form, I can just click on it. And you can see here, you can change the label. So if you wanted to say name, you could do that. Um, leave the field tag alone because that's what you're going to use for your kind of, you know, your lists and things. Um, so I'd say leave that alone. Um, you can have it as a hidden field. I'm not sure why you'd want to. You can make it a required field or not if you wanted to. Um, and just let's just click save. So at the moment, our email field is um, required. So if you wanted to make it not required or you could just go in here and Actually, obviously it's required. Sorry, <laughs> obviously it's required because you definitely need their email. But um, you can make the name required or not if you wanted. So let's just say we're going to save this now. That's fine. And let's just go back to what we were on um, with our embedded form. So you can see that's changed the name now. If you wanted to uh, get rid of this little dash, uh, you can. It'll still be required that they fill it in, but they just won't see it. Uh, I just kind of prefer it because I think it looks a bit cleaner, but it's up to you. Um, so for this interest group, basically you can make different groups in within your list. So let's say if you had a um, fitness clothing company and you wanted to have basically give different content to people that were interested in different things. So if you had a group of people that were interested in running, a group of people that were interested in cycling, and a group of people who were interested in, let's say, gym wear, um, you could get them to tick, you could make an interest group, and when they come on to onto your website, they'll have an option to tick what they're interested in, and then you can target um, your emailing depending on what group they're in um at the moment i don't have any interest groups so even though this is ticked it's not showing up but if you do have in an interest group made um i'll show i'll do a video about that as well so you can get the link to that in my description um how to make an interest group but if you do have an interest group made um that will show up here and they can tick it so let's just untick this for now uh format options uh it's not very important you can see they're not actually shown here but um let's just leave it ticked you can also set your form width. So if you, let's say if you, um, for me it's easy enough, I'm using my uh, WP Bakery plugin so I can set the, the the width of each column and whatnot. But if you didn't have that done and you wanted to set it within here, you can set it to 400 pixels or whatever you wanted. And that way it'll be set so that it won't be the whole way across your screen. It'll just be, let's say, to here or whatever you want. Um, this is pretty much it. You can, I never really use any of these. Um, 
I wouldn't disable JavaScript if I was you because it kind of works for you. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, you can now you're now ready to just copy and paste this onto your site. But that's all the customizations you can do within Mailchimp. As I say in my next video, I'm going to be showing you um how to actually customize this code to get it looking exactly the way you want. But that's just um these are the ones that you can do within Mailchimp, changing the name and required fields and whatnot. Uh, so I hope this helped guys. So there you go. Uh, there's quite a lot you can do within Mailchimp and um you know you can make it as complex or as simple as you want depending on the size of the area for your form. Um in my next video I'm just gonna be showing you a couple of the customizations that you can do uh, basically to the code once it's on your website um, and that will just make basically jazz up I suppose your MailChimp form a small bit and make it a bit more visually appealing and stuff so um, I'll see you in the next video guys thanks very much don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments if there's any other videos you'd like to see me do and I will do my best to help you out thanks very much guys